All right, it's time for another webinar. Devin from Archer Components. Let's do this. So today we're talking about the MFR, the multi-function remote. This is a universal drop bar remote for every bike. Gravel, road, hand cycle, recumbent, everybody can use this remote. This is a simple remote. We use a centralized pod and wired shift buttons. Now the idea for the MFR came from need. There were a lot of folks using the D1X to shift hand cycles. So the MFR started as the prototype for the accessibility riders. We had two mono headphone jack receptacles, thinking that folks would plug in their own switches and use the remote that way. Well, after prototyping that and seeing the need from everyday folks who wanted electronic shifting on their road bikes, we decided to combine those two projects together and create a universal multifunction remote. So the splitter allows the accessibility folks to use their own switches, and then our single and double strand allows every rider to put the electronic shifting on their bike, however they ride, and whatever their handlebars look like, or whatever their bike looks like. So let's talk about shift buttons. We've got a couple different options listed on the website. The first one is the single shift strand. So this has got your plug and then two buttons, shift up and shift down. This is the simplest option. If you want to get a little bit crazier, you've got the double strand button. Now this gives you two shift positions. That's what I've got running on this bike here. You can place a shift up down button and shift up and shift down buttons uh, on two different locations, whether it's the flats and out on your aero bars or the flats and the drops like I've got here. You can also separate these. So you can put your shift up and your shift down on separate sides of the bars. You can have the shift up on the right and the shift down on the left. And then the last option is the splitter. So the splitter is a small uh, dongle. Plug this guy into the MFR remote and now you've got two receptacles that can take mono headphone jacks. Now this is great for anybody using accessibility switches or if you're a hacker and you wanna build your own switches, use the dongle, use the splitter, create your own normally, uh, normally open momentary switches. Installation of the shift buttons is very easy. Each one of the buttons has a small zip tie hole on the side as well as a adhesive strip on the back. So you can use the zip tie to just zip tie that button wherever you want on your bike. You can also use the adhesive strip to keep it steady and keep it stable while you wrap bar tape around that button. So this here is my old steel framed Salsa La Raza from college. I used to race on this bike. I rode this thing up and down California, all over Japan. I love this bike. It uses a two, uh, two by nine campy drivetrain. The rear derailleur, the rear shifting was getting a little bit wonky, so we electrified it. Nine speed setup. The front derailleur is still mechanically shifted. Electronics and the battery for the MFR are housed here in the pod, placed anywhere in the front of your bike. I've got it here on the top tube because I run a very short stem on this bike and so there's not a lot of room underneath the stem. If you have a longer stem, you can place that little pod underneath the stem and tuck it away and keep it hidden. From the pod, we've got wired electronic shifting buttons. We use a headphone jack to plug this guy in and we use wired shift buttons. So you can see I've got uh, the double strand on this bike. I've got a single shift button here. I've got another one for my thumb on the back side. And then on the flats, I've got two more shift buttons. So when I'm climbing, I can shift here and I can shift here on my descents. Can also hit those buttons when I'm in the drops, which is pretty sneaky. The MFR is USB rechargeable. There's a small flap here, expose the USB port, Charge time's about 30 minutes or so, and that gets you about 30 hours of ride time. The MFR housing is fully sealed. We've got solid O-rings and gaskets in there to keep any mud or dirt out. The headphone receptacle is IP67 rated. The USB jack is IP67 rated. Everything is fully ready for uh, just your wildest adventures, no matter whether it's dirty or wet or grimy. As with everything we do here at Archer Components, the MFR is mostly made in the United States. Plastic, rubber, electronic assembly, actual physical assembly, even the installation booklets and the, the, the 
little cards that come with the packaging. All of this is U.S. made. We're trying to keep all of our production as close to home as possible, and we're proud to do that. So there you have it, folks. The D1X with the MFR remote. This is new from Archer Components coming out January 2022. The MFR is on sale on the 12th of January, and we're going to be shipping these before the end of the month. So get your bike ready for the spring riding season. Outfit with electronic shifting no matter what you ride. So that's it. Another webinar for the books. Keep your wheels dirty and your shifting clean. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.